hearts from books and tapes still melodies as Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Lewis Donovan for BlagSound.com and we are with Kites for another edition of Fresh Meat. Guys, how are you doing? Great. Very well indeed. We're tremendously excited to be playing tonight. So you're, you're playing Death Disco tonight. We've had a little wander around Notting Hill and we found a very picturesque house and we thought it might be a nice idea to uh, stand out in the freezing cold and have a chat. So, um, so what exactly is it um, about kites that uh, you think people should really get involved in and really listen to? Um, well, as Jasper likes to say, it's, it's music to dance to primarily. Okay. Um, and to cry to, but mostly to dance to. At the same time? If you want. <laughs> yeah, ba basically it's a good way of exercising those really tearful moments. So if you're feeling uh, particularly despondent, um, it's best just to weep it out at, um, at a kite's gig. I always think a good cry is really cathartic. Do you ever get any, uh, any huggers in your crowd, just standing there crying and just hugging it out? Uh, we, we do indeed. It's a bit embarrassing for them and, and ultimately for us as well to have too many um, in kind of conspicuous <laughs> viewpoints. So I usually usher them off to the crying corner of the stage. We had to stop a gig once because everyone had stopped cheering and drinking and just started crying and weeping. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, uh, so you, <laughs> you provoke quite a response. And uh, you're, uh, you, you take a lot of pride in your appearance as well, I hear. So, uh, so, so what's all that? Well, is it just you? I don't know. I think you all look fantastic. That's incredibly uh, kind of you. Um, no, we're, we're all, we, we all have a touch of narcissism about us. Okay. Um, and I think that, I think particularly, we're not on stage at the moment, but when we are on stage, it's good to dress up, it's good to get in costume yeah. and, uh, and present something that is visual as well as uh, wonderfully aural, hopefully. So, uh, so what are your plans for the future? You haven't done uh, many gigs for a while and you're, you're kind of back now um, and, you, and you've got a lot planned. What, uh, what can people expect? I think people can just expect actually a, um, a much more dynamic live show. Um, we're going. We're rehearsing uh, much more vigorously, yeah. and um, we've got a lot more songs to put into the set. So I really think an, an expansion of what we've done, and us just becoming more comfortable as musicians um, and friends, awesome. um, when we're not gouging each other's eyeballs out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome stuff. So, uh, so finally, what would you say to someone who's kind of thinking about going to see a kites gig but isn't really sure? What would you uh, What would you say to them? You're gonna love it. You're going to love it. Yeah, for those who, who wouldn't like to come, the more full you. Um, <laughs> it's going to be terrific. And, and you will be obviously outside crying on your own rather than sharing or the dancing. collective crying the, that yeah, can happen. Dance, maybe just crying. Yeah. <laughs> a little a combination of two. Everyone's crying. In or out, everyone's crying. <laughs> yeah. but, okay, so uh, we're looking forward to tonight, guys. Thank you so much for having us. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in there later on. Jumped up for